Graham Drury, a 10-point victory and a dream start to the 2015 National League. Yes, indeed. If tonight is what the National League is all about, I'm going to enjoy this. The meeting had absolutely everything. Determination, crashes, riders, you know, in the lead, being passed. It was what, if it, as I say, if this is what National League's all about, we're in for a treat this year. All, you know, I mean, I suppose one could really say possibly we were the underdogs prior to the start of the meeting. I got all the riders together and I said, look, you know, First meeting, important. We, you know, we're without two of our heat leaders. We need everybody just to give that little bit of extra 10%. Um, and they did even more than that. I'm ever so proud of each and every single one of them. All of them. As a, as a sportsman, you can't give anything more than 100%. And all my lads did. It was a really close fort meeting. A complete battle all the way throughout, but a few races towards the end proved pivotal. Yeah, I was always confident towards the end, um, but I mean, you know, I don't think the points, you know, I haven't added them up yet, but the points that we got for our R wouldn't have been as many as I think as what, you know, Sam would have got. So um, it, it it was always on a knife head, it was always going to be, we had a little bit of luck. You know, but unfortunately Luke Priest has broke his wrist. Uh, they had a little bit of luck when Tom Perry fell. But that's what I say. <laughs> the meeting had everything. And it's just the tonic that we needed to get off our, you know, our league campaign with a, a good 10-point victory. Um, I think it was 10, wasn't it? Was it 10? On a 10-point victory. And everybody's bubbling now. And it's just unfortunate we got to wait a fortnight until our next meeting. Everyone chipped in with some vital points. Dan Greenwood got 12, Tom Perry 11. But when you look at the reserves, it looks like that was where the meeting was won because Rye House's duo only scored five, whereas Birmingham's Zach Weidnecht and Alex Wilson scored 21 points between them. It says it all. Uh, and we always knew that, you know, the way that the, the Rye House team has been assembled, you know, it is the top four are good, very good. And, I, you know, I said to our reserves that the match could be won or lost by our sixes and sevens, uh, and that's the way it, it proved. And obviously there was a buzz here when Pete Cradley a few weeks ago, but tonight there's a real good feel factor around Perry Bar again. Everything about it, the crowd, you know, I'm very pleased with the attendance this evening. The track rode very well considering the hot weather we had, and the place is bubbling. Perry Bar on a Wednesday is a place to be. And the perfect way, perfect momentum and morale to take you into another tough fixture against Stoke in the fortnight's time. Yes, you know, although we've won tonight, you know, we won't, won't underestimate anybody. Local derby, Stoke. Um, again, all I can say, I just hope it's as entertaining as what tonight's match is.